welcome to the Don Stereo Show. Whether you're a curious mind or someone seeking inspiration, the Don Stereo Show is your go-to destination. We promise to ignite your curiosity and leave you with fresh insights after each episode. So subscribe, tune in, and enlighten your mind. Why would I let you know that I know? Why would I do that? No, I'm not going to prepare you for what I know I can do or I can bring up to set you up to put some money in a jar if we have a challenge like that or a bet or, I don't know. <laughs> no. That would be kind of cool, Absolutely though, not. because if I set the jar like right there and on the first episode and it's completely empty, I wonder how many episodes would it go by before it, it gets full. I have one better instead of that. Yeah. Picking random, like picking another, like picking other words outside of those words. OK, profanity is great and everything. That's, you know, that's something you can collect money on. But how about just the regular things we say all the time? May I get an like example, every- please? <laughs> <laughs> like A. A? Uh, hey. A. Like, like the letter A. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Say bravo? <laughs> no, like if you were to say, I went to go pick A-ho? up A, blah, blah, oh. blah. Oh. I went to go do this at, well, that would be Ann, but. I went to go, oh, Lord, you know what I'm saying. Every time you use A, so Assimilated. let's go get A, boom, oh. put money in a jar. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want to play that game either. Yeah, I, yeah, I would lose that. I like that. I would, I like I would that. definitely I like lose that. it. I, like I would that. lose that. I know, right? I know, yeah. right? It would be so much fun. It would be so much fun. Or every time you said red, or every time you said yeah. um, in just anything. All right. What else would you like what to... Is what, what is that? What is that on that? On that art? It... All right, let me look. It is a mountain in the distance with a lot of smoke rising up from the earth. Oh, okay. And it seems the to earth have... Is, um... Go ahead. What? I was trying to see the earth is under the purple. It looks like purple rippled spirals. That's well, the earth underneath the, it or behind it? Well, we're going to look at it like this then. <laughs> <laughs> this is the earth. <laughs> okay. This is the sky because most of this is just earth. And this is the only high terrain, a part of the earth. The rest of this is all okay. like that sky on this side. The rest of this is smoke drifting up that way and off to this way. And that's light coming out the sky somewhere. Who's responsible for for this pee? I am. Yours truly is responsible. Okay. Yep. I am trying to uh, fix up, fix my, uh, my little, my little keeps falling down thingy. I don't know. I can't be the only one having um, technical difficulties. (laughs) Yeah, why not? The first... First episode, why not? Caring is caring. I got a feeling it's going to come back down, but you know what? We'll find out. Maybe that's, yeah, whatever. Maybe that was meant to happen so I could show you how to art, you know, whatever. I'm sure you have other art besides that one. And along the way, we'll get to see more of that. Along with your travels and... Whatever else we get to see along with that, what do you do when you um when you when you stop along the way on your uh stop like is it taking a break or stop for the rest of the day like when you reach your destination, do you do anything special? do you have days do you have hours like between picking up and dropping off loads uh yeah well um. Hmm. Depends. If I deliver a load and there's a plenty of hours on this uh, federal clock they make us a bye bye, I have a dispatcher and he will find me a backhaul or another load to go somewhere else. And I either go pick it up and then get to like a place of a uh, rest, a uh, safe place and stop. But uh, in these stops, uh, 
there's many things I do when I finally shut it down or shut down the uh, truck. Um, there's a PlayStation in here. Uh, if I have days off in a major city, I go get a room from time to time, rent a car, go out, see a city I never explored. If I've been there more than once, I get to explore it more. Or sometimes I uh, enjoy the Apple TV. Uh, sometimes I uh, make music um, on like kind of different pieces of equipment, like the MPC Live, if anybody knows what that is. I got this, the second one, MB Live 2, or make music on my phone, or um, work on art, or just watch a movie and stream stuff, or, man, this thing will not stay where it wants to be no more. I, I'm just going to take it down, though. But um, I do a lot of different things, though. I just got to, you know, what I feel like, what I feel. Sometimes I don't do anything because I just be tired. The new, the areas, the, um, see the attractions, Get involved with yeah. the communities or do, like if you make regular runs to certain cities, are there certain places you frequent, that type of thing? And you don't have to say where or anything like that, right? I'm just I'm just asking, do you have a routine? Uh I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh it's kinda hard to keep a routine in trucking though, because like uh deliveries be different on a day to day basis. Uh routine wise or routes wise, like uh as an owner operator, I pick where I wanna go and last year I kind of like, um, I'm not scared to go anywhere as just like as, as a trucker, you know. Um, some people just won't do certain things, but I've experienced like every 48 state, so it doesn't scare me to go anywhere. But last oh, year, nice. yeah, well, last year at the beginning of 2023, I got stranded in Wyoming because they closed the highways down for five days in all directions, and. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm, and then when I opened it up, I saw a truck do a whole 180. Went into the me- middle of the median. He didn't flip it, but and um, and then in like the spring is kind of dangerous with the strong winds, and the fall is kind of dangerous with the strong winds. And I had to pull on the shoulder last year in Nebraska for a, a, turn- a tornado uh, across the highway. Um, so this year and at the end of last year, as an owner operator, I decided I would just do a solely back and forth so certain route. I ain't going nowhere else. Don't ask me. Don't beg me. I, I'm straight. And I'm waiting on summer to come so I will go wherever I feel like it. Like, you know, um, there's other places you go in the wintertime that doesn't scare me. But certain routes I normally used to run, I, I just kind of cut it out because of weather. Because you're speaking on, like, the ice and the conditions, like the inclement weather type deal, with the snow and ice, maybe hills, um, mountains. To be honest with you, mountains don't really uh, scare me. Um, I think I went to a good trucking school in my city and state because uh, I've been in other forums or groups and uh, whatever, and I, I hear some, I read some of the comments, and, you know, it's a bunch of truckers. Like, I don't think they know a lot. Not that the younger version was now, though. But, um Mountains don't scare me. Uh, I've driven in snow practically all nine years I've been driving trucks. Um, no matter how cautious I can be, it still could be uh, treacherous or it could still be dangerous. Uh, but my biggest fear of driving trucks, though, is not the snow and it's not the hill. It's wind. Wind is not my friend. Mm-hmm. It'll make me... Uh, clinch up you know if you know what i'm saying you know oh okay yeah yeah because um like hydroplaning is random but you know it's raining so you try to like slow down you know reduce your speed that's the safety thing you learn in beginning of driving trucks so like when it's raining if it says it's 65 you should probably be doing like 60 to 55 that's just uh, because if you have an accident even though you were doing the speed limit they're gonna find you at fault because you didn't reduce speed because of the you know the weather, the severe weather. And same thing about snow. And uh, same thing about hills. Like if you go down a hill and the speed limit says the hill is this speed and you're going down the hill faster and you wreck uh, whatever and you kill somebody, they're going to get you for it, you know? And so um, the hills don't bother me too much. Snow don't rain, no. The wind is like, can you imagine you driving your car and like, you're going down the highway and out of nowhere, some incredible Hulk type guy just come punch your car and it's just random. You don't even see it coming. And that's kind of like how I take wind. And certain, like anything like 
20, now I'm going to say 30 miles an hour wind and above, when you go through an area and you can't see wind, so when you go through a certain area, it looks plain James, and you just go into this wind tunnel pocket, you cross right clean through it, it's like somebody's punching the side of your truck. And I've seen my um, wheel lift up out the ground on the trailer in the mirror. When I look in the mirror, you can see the tra trailer lifting up and then it sits back down. And I don't care how brave or how strong or how manly you think you are, or whatever the words I'm looking for, it will make you feel like a peasant. <laughs> and it mm -hmm. also will give you a mini stroke. You'll get so much uh, anxiety from it. The Don Serious Show.